Holy Spirit, sir. If you have anything serious that you want to say to me, this one I'm hearing, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not the person you're talking to. Two girls walked in. A black Igbo girl with a white American girl. How do you do, everyone? How are you coping with the lockdown on COVID-19? Deeper life, Bible study, may we have neuro, sabongeri, kano. This was in the month of September 1983. As we were waiting for the Bible study to start, two girls walked in. A black Igbo girl with a white American girl. And as I was looking at them walking into the front door, into the hall, the Holy Spirit spoke to me here. Not here. I heard him very clearly. Isaac, look at that white girl. She's going to be your wife. I said, here, Holy Spirit, sir, if you have anything serious that you want to say to me, you might as well say it. But this one I'm hearing, I'm sorry sir, I'm not the person you're talking to. I'm sorry. People, this is how I, that is, this is exactly how I reacted to what I heard in my spirit. Mary, white girl, are you mad? Are you out of your senses? Cut a long story short. I actually got married to a Nigerian girl, 1987. And something happened. Serious disease came upon her. And she died. After only 18 months of marriage. It was a devastating experience. The long and short of it, after some time, I got over it. I decided to obey God. That American girl, 1983, that was the first time she ever attended a deeper life Bible study. And that was the last time. That was the first time I would see her. I will not see her again until, until 1987. Very bad. We became friends, we became close. We were actually started attending the same fellowship with Carlo. She was a missionary from America. She was working with SIN, what is now known as EPA. We became friends, but the issue of marriage, forget it. It's not for no forget it. After my wife died, and I got to buy it, I decided to obey God. So on the 20th of July 1990, I got married. Oh, she actually married me. She took me to the altar. You will know what I mean. <laughs> that marriage has now lasted 30 years. Same day, 
we were married, we left Kano to move to Abuja, where we have remained for 30 years. One thing led to the other until she became the principal at the American International School that used to be in Maitama. In December 1997, we had a Christmas carol in that school. During the Christmas carol, they sang over 20 songs. But in one of those songs, they sang, the name of Jesus was mentioned. This is how problems started. Why should the name of Jesus be mentioned during Christmas carol in an American international school? She wants to turn their school into a mission school. This is how they forced my wife to resign in June 1978. In 1998, she left that school as a principal. What led us? We start a school of our own. International Community School started in August 1998. God has prospered that school. Every time we help international school, 150 children, 200 children, but God has prospered us. We have 550. 70 children in that school, God has prospered us. We've gone to America. We hired, we, we, we've hired teachers from America. We've hired teachers, white teachers from Britain. We've hired white teachers from Sweden, from Bulgaria, India, Filipino. If your brother doesn't sign the check, none of them receive salary. It was in December 1999, we were doing Christmas carol in our school. Of course, the name of Jesus is in every sentence of every song. As the carol was about to start, as we were sitting for the carol to start, suddenly, as I looked in front of me, white people, behind me, white people, to my right, white people, to my left, white people, and your brother is sitting in the middle and the box. People, if you know the village where I come from, and the circumstances under which I grew up, the only thing I can say to you that is God in heaven, who takes control of the destinies of men, who takes nothing and he makes something out of them. That is the story of my life. I will end here. Greater and greater things that God did for me. That will be the subject of the next video we're going to record. Please do not forget to like this video by giving us thumbs up. Again, those of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe. Send this video to your friends. Show them how God can take control of somebody's life and begin to direct the affairs of your life. Things you never expected, things you never planned for. Things that never, never were in your imagination, God for bring them to pass in your life. That is my story. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for listening to us today. God bless you. Goodbye.